I'm an addict for Snickers. What's good, what's good? Back up in the building, it's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. We got the 2014 Air Tech Challenge Hot Lava Shoes right here. These released finally again in 2014. Last time they released, I'm pretty sure it was 2006. They didn't do too well, and I think that's why they made it a quick strike this time along. They flew off the shelves this time along, and I think the reason why was the fact that, you know, this came out since then, and... This is just so popular. The Yeezy 2, they borrowed the mid and outsole from these shoes right here. So you already know, they're gonna fly off the shelves just on the strength of that. But I'm still shocked that they made it a quick strike and didn't, you know, get their money's worth by selling a ton of them. But I had a conversation with one of my friends about this subject, and who knows, they may not have flew off the shelves. I mean, look, this released last year and this hit the sales racks. And this is a classic, in my opinion, one of the best high tops ever. And you already know the inspiration that was taken from this shoe. I mean, this is a legendary high top right here. So who knows if this was a regular general release, what this would have done. But this the shoe right here retail for $120. And I love this shoe. This is like my third time owning this. Shout out to Chic shoes in California. I was able to get my pair out there and I really appreciate it. They were really tough to pick up. This was a tough pickup. This is one of my favorite shoes of all times. My favorite shoe, by the way, if you're not familiar with me, this is my favorite shoe of all times. But this is up there, probably top 10, somewhere around there. And um, I love this shoe. I still miss my old pair. My old pair, man, I love that pair. I used to wear it and just love wearing it tell you a funny story because since I did review these already I'll tell you a funny story to make this episode kind of funny and stand out last time I owned this pair right I was walking outside of my friend's house it was late I was going to the car and I stepped in the biggest pile of dog poop ever it must have been like a big ass Rottweiler or something like that man but I just remember squish it was disgusting I had to take the shoe off and I literally just left the shoe next to the pile of crap and I had another pair of shoes in the car thank God threw those on I left that pair of shoes right next to the pile of dog poop I would have paid to see someone walk by and see that pair of shoes and just be like what am I looking at <laughs> But unfortunately, I don't have those. It's something I do. If I step in dog poop and I have the opportunity to just switch it to another pair of shoes, I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to, you know, deal with having a sneaker full of crap. You know, it's just not happening. So, call me whatever. That's just what it is. So, so that's what happened with that. I'm sure some people will get a kick out of that story. But this is the 2014 Retro, and I finally got them right now. I finally got a new pair. I was so pissed off, man. I'm still pissed off because I love that pair. Like, it was just such a comfortable pair of shoes, you know what I mean? I'm sure these will be just fine because they look great. So let's get into the review. On the toe, you got your perforations, and the material's nice. It's a nice full-grain leather. You got your full-grain leather smooth right there around the toe. Goes up. And then you've got your layers, as you can see, your hot lava hit right there. And then you've got your black full grain leather right there. A lot of layers to the shoe. It's one thing that stands out when you see it and you wear it, especially in person. A lot of different layers, which I like. You got your perforations right there. You got more smooth full grain leather up top. You've got your hot lava swoosh right there. Another hit of that hot lava splash right there. Full grain leather going toward the back in white. And then you got more up top in black with your Nike Air right there. You got your padding up top. Padded shoe feels really nice on feet. These are comfortable. And there's the inner upper of the shoe right there. You've got your lace harness. And it's like a hard rubber, I would say. Up top in gray with your hit of black. White laces. You've got your mesh kind of fabric tongue. And then you've got your tag on the tongue right there. Pretty, pretty similar to the OGs. You got your midsole, as you can see there, with your hit of gray. There's your air unit right there. As I was saying before, this shoe definitely got more popular because of the fact that you've got this shoe that came out that was really hyped up. I mean, regardless if it's hyped up or not, I hate when people judge something by hype. It's 
popular, it's hot. Of course, it's gonna be hyped up if it's something hot, and these are hot right here. Um, but since these released and they borrowed the mid and outsole from these, you know, I knew this was gonna fly off the shelf. A lot of the younger heads are very familiar with the mid and outsole now because of the fact of these shoes right here. As you can see, and I did a real nice um, comparison video with both of the Yeezy colorways and this shoe right here. If you're interested in watching that, I'll put a link in the description box. And also, I'm not going to show these on feet because I really want you guys to check out the 2006 version. Unfortunately, I don't have the shoe. I told you a little while ago about what happened with them. But I want you to watch that episode because I want you to tell me, is this color off? compared to the other model. I feel like this is a different shade right here. This is more of a duller shade. I think that the other model, the color was a little bit more like popping. It was kind of dull here. See, over here is more brighter than over here. And I think, I'm not 100% sure because I don't have them now, and my memory with certain things like that is sometimes on and sometimes off. I think that this was the same as this on the last model. This is way brighter than this on this model. So instead of me showing you them on feet, I want to motivate you right now to actually go check that episode out. And also, I think that this was different too. I think that this wasn't so glossy on the last retro. I think this wasn't glossy like this. I may be wrong, but I think I'm right. I don't think this had that kind of gloss finish to it. So check that episode out. I show them on feet. I think I show them with jeans and with shorts. I'm not 100% sure. Check it out though. I did a very, very detailed review on these. Andre Agassi, I watched as a kid. My um, grandfather, when I'd visit him, we'd always watch tennis all the time. And I always was into Andre Agassi because, you know, this was like the 80s, 90s. Andre Agassi had like that rock star look, you know, the long hair, the headband. Like that was that look back in the day. So he looked cool as hell and he had the dope shoes. So me being young, I always like would pay more attention to Andre Agassi versus a lot of the other tennis players. But I watched Man Tennis as a kid. Shout out to my grandfather, Big Guy. That's what everyone called him in Yonkers, Big Guy. That was his nickname. <laughs> so shout out to him, RIP. So I have a connection with these Andre Agassi shoes just because I used to watch him actually play and, you know, make some amazing history in all of his shoes. Just like with Michael Jordan. Like, you know, I watched all these games live as a kid, so there's a connection besides the fashion aspect. There's also a connection with actually watching, being there, not being there live, like at the game, but I was watching the games live on TV. So there's a big connection with a lot of these athletes. That's what part of the reason why I'm so into sneakers is just because I'm into sports, you know. And then another part is I just like wearing nice things and crispy, fresh, brand new looking sneakers like these. And that's what I like. I like wearing brand new shoes. That's why I have so many. There's nothing like wearing a fresh, crispy pair of sneakers. That's why I have so many shoes because I want to always have a fresh, crispy pair of kicks on my feet. You know what I mean? It's a great feeling. There's nothing like putting on a brand new pair of kicks. That's why I'm into this whole thing right here. And that's it for today. Once again, shout out to Chic Shoes in California for showing that love because I was really looking for these right here. And I was very happy to be able to pick up a pair over there. So thank you. Shout out to the West Coast from the East Coast. Hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. Share this video, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Show that love. It motivates me to keep doing these episodes. You can hear my voice is still messed up. I'm sick, but it don't matter. I still got to do these episodes. I know people are waiting to watch more and more material here at YouTube.com forward slash The Sneaker Addict. This is The Sneaker Addict Show. I try to put out one of the best YouTube shows as far as with sneakers on this network. People want to watch, and I'm trying to deliver that entertainment right here. And that's it for today. Happy I got these, man. I'm really happy I got these. So sick. Check out that review. I want you to do that right now. I want you to check out that review. Pay attention to the colors. Pay attention to the gloss. I'm going to put a link in the description box below. And when I get a chance, I'll put a link right there. Bong, full time sakes. Throw the bong right there. Also, make sure to go to my blog, thesneakerratic.com, for your sneaker news. I keep hitting a lot of people with a lot of sneaker news over at that blog. And I know a lot of people ain't checking it out. I know a lot of people are, but I know a lot of people are not checking it out. Because I have a lot more people that check in over here than over there. So make sure you go to my blog, thesneakerratic.com, for your sneaker news and restock information. I've been able to help a lot of people out with restocks. Go to my blog, thesneakerratic.com. 
big restock happened today. Some know about it, some don't. If you went to my blog this morning, oh, there was a big restock today. Go to the blog every morning, at least in the morning, before you start your day, the sneakeratic.com for your sneaker news. And with that said, I'll be back. Really, really. Beautiful day. Go and get paid. DJ Dell, you know Dell. I love you. Uh, you, love you got you. some neighbors around you like to talk a lot. Smile, say how you doing, but when you off the block, they the ones talking shit about you. Some will even rat the pigs about you. But for the most part, I gotta love my neighborhood. Got a problem, just holler, you good. It's a beautiful day on the block. Chilling, cracking jokes, keep the youngest taking notes. Classic Snoop blasting out the window. Talk about drinking gin, smoking Indo. Pretty thing next door, fat ass, nice rack at the bar.